I think uh, there is a sense of uh, dissatisfaction amongst people who have dealt with the uh, the organization, because as I said, uh, you know, it is uh, a Chinese uh, dominated organization, but, but of course it's an important organization. I think yeah. one needs to be cognizant of, uh, cognizant of that because it uh, covers about, uh, you know, 40%, more than 40% of the global population. And yeah. it covers uh, more than 33% uh, of the global GDP in purchasing par parity terms. So it's a very important organization. and. For India, it is extremely important to stay uh, uh, engaged with this particular organization because this whole region of Central Asia and Eurasia is a part of our extended neighborhood, which the yeah. Prime Minister today in his uh, commentary, he said that it is a part of our extended family. It's not a neighborhood, but it's a family. And, you know, when we are talking about the, uh, of course, we are very much focused on the Indo-Pacific, that we need to work there, we need to have the Malabar exercises, we need to have the Quad, we need to have the IPEF. I think we should not be uh, uh, forgetting about uh, our uh, interest in the Eurasian landmass, in the Eurasian uh, continent, you know, Central Asia, Caucasus, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So I think that is uh, very important. We, uh, it has, uh, the uh, organization has really not been able to uh, meet, uh, uh, you know, its uh, objectives very effectively. And I could give you a few examples, uh, if you would want. Uh, that, sir, uh, you, even... sir, let me just interrupt you here. Yeah, are sure. you saying SEO? Have not been able to measure up to its responsibility with respect to Central Asia? Is that what you're saying? No, it is not uh, in terms of, you know, SEO is the broader organization. And what it says is that it has to maintain peace, security, stability. Now, has it been able to maintain that peace, security, stability in the uh, region that it encompasses? And uh, the examples that I was going to give you is uh, really not. Because uh, if you look at Afghanistan, you know, whatever has been happening in Afghanistan and even around 2021 when the United States was leaving was the SEO. And we've had an uh, Afghanistan contact group in the SEO since 2009. So yeah. was the SEO visible anywhere? Was it really able to play a role in bringing about stability and, uh, you know, giving a sense of peace and security? Not really. So what does the, sir, uh, uh, let me interrupt you again. What does yeah, that sure. suggest about the SEO? Is it divided? Because the, some of the key guys there have their own games to play, whether in Afghanistan or Central Asia. Russia appears to be weakening. So in that sense, perhaps his profile is down. Is that what you're trying to tell me? No, what I'm trying to tell you is that even if Russia had not weakened, you know, if I take the situation as it prevailed on the 23rd of February 2022, that means just before the Ukraine conflict had yeah. started, I think even at that time, because uh, the, uh, you know, the change over the uh, of power in uh, Afghanistan, the move out of the US and the NATO and the ISAF forces that yeah. really got completed in August of 2021. But still, uh, uh, SU was not able to play a role there, nor has it been able to play a role. I'll give you another example, which uh, I think in India and your uh, viewers and listeners would not really be aware of, that there is a huge conflict on the border between two of the members, that is Kyrgyzstan and Tajikistan. Last mm -hmm. year in September, when the Samarkand summit was taking place, just about 200, 250 kilometers away, there were violent clashes on the borders between Taj Tajikistan and Kyrgyzstan, and more than 100 people died. Uh -huh. And the SEO had uh, nothing to say about that. And that is because there is, you know, uh, there is one big uh, uh, power, one big entity that is China, and it will, it sort of, you know, tends to run this organization as per its own interests. The SU did not even make a statement on this conflict that was taking place just about a hun few hundred kilometers away. And so there is a lack of coherence 
as far as uh, this organization is concerned, there is a lack of cohesiveness because of the differential in power and authority amongst the members, you know, particularly amongst the original six members, Russia and China on one side and the other four Central Asian countries on the other side. So uh, I think there is a lot of reform, a lot of change that is required because you see when the SU was formed in 2001, there have been a large number of very ambitious initiatives that have been taken. You know, it was said that uh, let us, all the SEO countries enter into an FTA. And uh, uh, that decision was taken, but it was never taken forward. They said, let us have an SEO bank. Let us have an SEO energy club. But nothing of that has uh, really come about because, uh, you know, China tends to use this uh, organization for some purposes, while for others, it goes into bilateral relations with these countries. Mm -hmm. For instance, it wants to import gas from uh, Turkmenistan. It will do it on a bilateral basis. Well, that it wants be, to, yeah. yeah, it wants to import oil from Kazakhstan. It will do it on a bilateral basis. So this uh, SEO doesn't really come into the picture in that sense.